Hey everybody, Randy here with an all new Geek Roll Order video, and today we're doing a retro toy review. We're taking it to the 90s, a time where action figures had great gimmicks, larger than life personalities, and what better way to do it than with an action figure, two action figures actually, that combine all of that. Gimmicks, personalities, and my favorite 90s toy feature, Snap-on Armor. So today, we are taking a look at the WWF Stomp Series. Series 1, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Flying Brian Pillman. So, the Stomp Series, basically they're these larger-than-life action figures. They've got the Snap-on Armor, they've got like a Commando gimmick... Oh man, just, so, oh, these figures are so fun. So, let's take a look at the first one here. So, we're going to look at uh, Brian Pillman. So, there he is in the packaging. Open these up. Oh, that sweet, satisfying, let them breathe. So these are made by Jax Pacific. Wait, are they made by Jax? Yes, they are. Okay. So here is Brian Pillman. Get a load at that head scan. He looks angry. So not super a lot of articulation. There is a waist swivel. There's a... Is there a head swivel? Might not be a head swivel because of his hair, actually. Um, his arm goes up and down, so does that one. And then you can do, you can barely do a kick, so. The articulation here is not that great. But he has accessories, so. So he's got these leg armors, they go over his boots. Get a little more detail on that. So there's the boot. There's the detail on the boot. He's got a knife. He's got a tactical vest. And of course, Pillman's got a gun. So, nice little callback to the uh, famous Pillman's Got a Gun spiel. Uh, that segment from Raw. So, pull him out. And start putting accessories on him. So the boots are going to go on like that. Put his, his vest basically clips on like that. His hair is a pain in the butt to kind of get some of the accessories around. Then he's got a knife, I believe, to go on that hand. Though, actually, I think he can only hold one accessory at a time. Because this hand is kind of a, a loose, open hand. You can kind of get the gun in there. Um, I'm using the... F actually, using the finger as kind of a loose holding point on it. But this... Yeah, you can see it's not really meant for that. So... Um... Of course, as the, um, kind of one of the downfalls of 90 Snap-on armor gimmicks, his back is totally exposed. But, I mean, there's some detailing there. I got some muscle detailing. 
So this definitely doubles as a wrestling figure, and I think I actually put both. I had them right the first time. Okay, maybe the plastic was just a little. Okay, so I totally had the boots on incorrectly. So yeah, his boots actually go like that. Although it's interesting that like, as you can see, the boots actually have two different sets of details on them. So that's actually kind of cool that they're a little unique like that. Um, I don't see anywhere to hold the knife accessory. Um, Cause yeah. Like when he's not doing so. Although, hmm. Okay, that's the weird part. So the gun doesn't really fit in this hand at all. Like, I think you actually do have to use the other hand to hold the gun. Because I think it actually does clip. So it definitely fits better in this hand. But it's really loose. Wow. So, uh, there is... Hmm. All right. It's like, see, if you hold it with the C grip hand, you can tell it's like not great, but the open hand that you can actually kind of slide the trigger into is super loose. So I'm not 100% sure which one I would go with for... This is, wow, this gun accessory, I don't think works with this figure. Because you can't close the grip on his hands, so he's not, so you can't get like the, the hands closer together, you can't like put in his hand and the other one supports it, that's not going to happen. So, this is not the best figure. It, the, the weird, crazy... So, there he is with the knife accessory. Probably going to be the best way to display him. But... Otherwise, this one's just an okay figure. It, he's okay. That's all I'm going to say about him. I think the fact that... He can't really hold the gun right it is definitely knocking some points off on this one for me but let's see if his uh compatriot here is does better stone cold austin 316 pretty sure he yep he's got his austin 316 shirt there in the package the sculpt looks also not that great so this is like Still, these were made in 1997, kind of at the height of the Attitude Era, but they haven't really developed the toy technology yet. I think these are all sculpted. Uh, a lot of your modern action figures are basically like 3D rendered and created from scans. Nowadays, stuff like the WWE Elites, they've got trucks that come to the um, production areas. Superstars get like a 360 scan image done of them, and that's how they eventually make the the toys out of them. But let's go ahead and uh, open this guy up here. So the accessories already falling out of here, but so there's Stone Cold and his baldness like he's got this weird like red beard so that's kind of a one yeah like that's the weird thing like this beard is like very very red um uh, stone cold he's wearing pants and i'm supposed to i'm i'm guessing they're supposed to be jeans but they're like a weird color blue he's got knee pads boots elbow pads wrist tape uh, same articulation. He's got the waist swivel. He's got the 
Well, actually, I think he's got a slightly better kick than Pillman does. Of course, he's got his Austin 316 shirt on. So, could easily double as a wrestling figure. Um, some of the accessories are falling out here. So, he's got his combat boots. Let me pull these up here. Uh, so the one's got, so this one's got a gun on it, a gun holster, and this one's got a knife holster on it. So, so the details on here are actually pretty cool. I like these details. So, make sure I'm... So that one should go there. That one should pop onto the leg right there. So there's his leg details. So he's got his boots on. He's got a combat vest. He's got gun bullets. He's got the bandoliers. And they're in a very blue color. So this makes me think of like 90s G.I. Joe's because it's got like some kind of a print on it. And there's blue, a very obvious blue and like this tiger striping on his battle vest. So this is very, very 90s G.I. Joe reminiscent. So snap that vest on him there. So there's his combat vest. And of course the back of his shirt completely open because obviously these are 90 snap-on armors and they only works, they only help so much. Now, Austin here, he has uh he has a special forces beret. And nice little detail there, it's got the stone cold on it. It's got his skull insignia. So that's super cool. So and it actually fits pretty decently on his head there. So that's not bad. So let's see how his accessories go. So he's got two guns with him. Uh, the first is a pistol. And it's kind of a Han Solo looking blaster. His other gun is a full rifle with a bayonet on it. Giving me some vibes of like a uh, Crimson Guard rifles. So he can hold the rifle decently in the C grip hand. Um, it doesn't look like it's as dependent on. See the wide open hand. Oh wow, that completely just fell off. So yeah. So the grip is not great. It's like if the C grip hand had like a finger slot here that could actually hold the although this figure does have a much tighter hand to it so he actually holds his weapons better and I think the pistol is going to be unfortunately the same thing oh actually the pistol like yeah you kind of gotta rock it into the hand a little bit kind of that'll give you a better angle on it so he holds, yeah, like the wide grip hand is doing nothing. So actually the wide grip hand works a little better. Um, I think with the pistol, because it's got the trigger on it, it gives a little space for the hand to, that finger to grip in a little better into the plastic. So. Cause... Yeah, this one, the, the wide grip hand is not the best for the weapons. I will, although it, if you work the it right and the finger here, they kind of, it will go into the trigger. 
you just kind of got to give you a, a better perspective there. Kind of just got to rock it into the hand a little bit and just kind of work with the trigger there. But so that. So, yeah. So he's kind of got to hold his guns out a little bit like that just to have a better angle on it. But yeah, there is Stone Cold Steve Austin in his battle attire with his battle weapons. So, actually, let me go back to Pillman here. Let me see if I can... Surprisingly, Pillman's figure has less of it. Okay. But yeah, actually, see, if you kind of put the hint, like it back on the finger a little bit to kind of hook it on there. So it'll hold up better, but it's still not 100% great. It's really hard to do an action feature with it when he's when his gun is posed out. And also his head does not move at all. Austin has... Okay, I just... Okay, I don't think these figures have head articulation at all. Does that? Neither of these heads are moving. So, overall, these are not the greatest action figures. They're not even that great in terms of, like, 90s snap-on armor figures. But, yeah, because Stone Cold's gun just fell out there. But, there they are. WWF Stomp Series 1, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Brian Pillman. They're still okay figures in my book. That They'll be displayed with my Armors figure collection that is starting to grow here. But I think I'll do it for this video. Um, leave a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to the channel, all that's good stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.